All right, so let me explain how this interactive feature works over here, this one right here. Uh, so to do so, I'm just going to, going to uh, just going to have something to look at on my screen. Just make a simple box. I'm going to go into rendered mode. I'm going to give it a material for now. I'll give it a concrete material. Okay, the concrete material is applied. I'm gonna to go to my settings. And for now, I'm not gonna to worry too much about the texture mapping. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna turn on this interactive. And I'm gonna start it. And what interactive will do is I'm going to try to minimize all the screens. I'm going to have to see a few things at the same time. So I'm going to drag this little icon here. I'm going to drag it all the way to the left to close it. Same thing on this side. Drag this all the way to the right to close it. And I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. And what interactive is, as I move in my Rhino screen, I can see my rendering update in real time. It takes a few seconds to actually get to the point where it's updating, but it's essentially updating in real time. And this is just a nice feature. Say, for example, you're doing something with the material that you want to see what the material actually looks like when it's rendering. Right? So if I wanted to Again, I'm going to try to do this and may still be able to see everything. I'm going to very quickly update the texture on this. So texture mapping, apply box mapping, and my options. I'm just going to hit enter three times. And I can see how the, the texture is already updating. I can turn on the um, how I want the texture to look. And as soon as I let go, I can see I can see it update. So it's just a really helpful feature to 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 have turned on uh, as you're as you're trying to see as you're testing your renderings and trying to see what they what they look like. Uh, let me turn this hide mapping turn that off again. Um, again, it's just updating in real time what my what's whatever's in my Rhino screen. Uh, and then when I'm done with this. I'm just going to hit, I'm going to just stop this because if not, it's, it's always running in the background. So I'm going to stop this and the interactive feature is great for testing, but to, for, to do your final rendering, you just make sure you turn this off and just make sure you adjust your, your settings, um, like your quality and your denoiser, um, and you have your, um, your, safe frame turned on and your Im image resolution uh, just to make your final rendering. Uh, but to have the interactive turned on while you're doing your test renderings, it's a really useful function.